shift of uh, the mission, the nature of the mission in Iraq, will affect in any way the mission in Syria? Again, I'm not going to get ahead of decisions that haven't been made or policies that haven't been uh, decided upon. We're in talks with the Iraqis about uh, what the posture is going to go forward. Um, uh, the, we have a much smaller presence in Syria, but it's aligned to the same mission which is to continue uh, to counter ISIS and their influence in both Iraq and, and Syria. So while they are different places, different force postures, same ultimate goal. But I'm not going to speak about uh, policy decisions or operational decisions that haven't been made yet. Jane. Thank you, John. Um, recently, North Korean leader Kim Jong-un sent a victory message to the Taliban and uh, urging the U.S. military to quit. What is your comment on that? Did not see the comment by Kim Jong-un. Um, uh, so he can speak for his own communications with the Taliban. Uh, what I can tell you is that uh, we, we no longer have a presence on the ground in Afghanistan. Um, our involvement in that war uh, on the ground is, is over. Uh, and the president made clear his intention uh, to do that. The retrograde withdrawal is done, as well as uh, the military part, military element of evacuating um, Americans and special immigrant visa holders. That said, the U.S. government is still very much uh, going to stay involved and trying to help people leave uh, who want to leave and, and who qualify to leave. Um, and as you heard General McKenzie say, we're also going to stay focused on uh, the terrorist threat that could emanate from Afghanistan. Thank you. Yeah, Sylvie. Um, hello, John. I would like to ask you a few details about the um, AUKUS uh, agreement uh, announced yesterday on the military side. Mm -hmm. um, the um, Australian Defense Minister spoke about basing. Does it mean that the uh, U.S. wants to deploy uh, uh, U.S. troops on uh, Australian soil permanently? Well, we already have a rotational uh, Marine Corps deployment there, which uh, the Australians have been incredibly gracious and generous and in, in, in helping host. Uh, and I, I don't want to speak for, again, decisions that haven't been made, but one of the things that was discussed was the opportunity to expand that presence in, in Australia and that access to Australia, but no decisions came out of yesterday's uh, uh, Osman 2 plus 2. Uh, but that is something that uh, I think you can expect. We're going to continue to talk to the Australians about going forward. Thank you. 